to dare believe in your own beliefs even if no one else believes the same as you. Our beliefs are so much more than just beliefs. Can you believe what you believe in without guilt and fear? Our beliefs are highly connected to our environment and history of separation from source in that way that we have been judged and excluded from others that have different beliefs than we have. In our ascension path, this is one major issue we have to come to terms with within ourselves. We have carried huge proportions of guilt for not buy into the beliefs that the collective of humans have. When we start to create our own beliefs and collect our information of truth, from source instead of from humans, we are the foreigners that are going to be judged and condemned for having beliefs that stands in minority of what the collective believe. It requires a huge amount of courage to stand alone with a belief when everyone have a different one. Let us be aware of how we constantly are being involved in this game of opinions, of the belief we have of believing. We have to have an opinion and take side in everyone else's beliefs on what's right or wrong. This is a case of living in duality and separation where we always believe we must take side, must choose and take a decision if we believe or not believe in what others believe in. This is exhausting for us and we are mostly not even aware of in what extent it is affecting us. Wherever we go and wherever we are, people are having beliefs and opinions. When we listen to their opinions and beliefs, we automatically start to reflect over them. Do we agree or not? If not, do we have an argument that can convince them to believe as we believe instead? We are constantly exposed to this wherever we go, on a bus, a cafe or some other public place where we can hear others speaking of their beliefs. In TV, films and all social medias, our own close relations, families and friends and so on. Unconsciously, we start to reflect over these beliefs all the time and it takes a vast amount of energy in doing so. The truth of beliefs is that we all have them, but it is nothing more than beliefs. Unfortunately, we believe that to have a belief, it has to be right or wrong, which means that we are labeling the ones with the wrong belief, not equal, our own in a degrading way. We put guilt upon them for not believing as we do. At the same time, this is happening in the opposite manner. When we believe something that no one else believe, we put guilt upon ourselves for not doing so. We can carry around with huge amounts of guilt for not believing what others believe 
and even fool ourselves to believe what are accepted and tolerated to believe by the collective in fear of being judged as the bad guys. This of course has to do with primal fear of being left alone with no one who cares for us, of being excluded, mocked and ridiculed and even killed. It is also a deeply rooted religious belief we have of being good or bad in the eyes of God. That God is judging us and that we are evil if we make people upset and not pleased with how we fulfill their wishes of how we should be to make them comfortable. The constant attempt of humans battling in wanting others to believe what they believe in are the cause of all conflicts and wars on this planet. To end conflicts both on personal and collective level we need to stop this fight and let everyone believe in their own beliefs without judgment. In this way we can live side by side with our enemies and see that we can be friends even though we have different beliefs. When we realize that all this belief in that we have to carry guilt that others put upon us for not believing what they believe are not true, we can get rid of that heavy burden we have been carrying around for so long and start to live our lives in a much easier way. If we not are feeling guilty for our beliefs, the guilt others are sending us are going right back to where it came from. If we are not buying into the belief that we have to feel guilty, we are not receivers anymore. The thought form sent to us in form of guilt has no receiver. The address label is not there anymore and the thought form has to be sent back to the sender again. The guilt we are feeling is actually only a reflection of our own doubts about our right to have our beliefs and the guilt we feel about having them. When we stop feeling guilty of our own beliefs, others are not going to make us feel guilty of having them anymore. This is a huge lesson for us to learn in our ascension process, to own our opinions and beliefs without guilt and to not have to stand up for them, not having to explain to others why we have them, not having to prove to others that we are right, not needing to have proof or scientific evidence for that our beliefs are right and validated. We just believe what we believe, period and of discussion. If others do not agree with us, it is okay. And if they do, this is also okay. We don't believe that our beliefs have to have followers that believes in them. We don't believe that our beliefs has to be wrong if no one else believes in them. As light workers, we are going to be exposed to massive attempts and pressure from the collective to believe that what we believe is wrong. But to make a change, someone has to go first and it is up to others to follow. It is not our responsibility to make them do so. We have only our own beliefs and we choose our own path, the path that makes sense for us. 
Much love to all you believers out there, whatever you believe in. Mia.